Hello, folks. David Williams with Jesus Ministries. And we'll be talking briefly about this RFID microchip. I've been hearing for a few years now people discredit that the mark of the beast will necessarily be a microchip. And their explanation is that it'll be a spiritual mark, not a physical mark like the mark of God and they compare the mark of the beast with the mark that the Lord will place on his people that it and that's described in Revelation 7 how God marks his people okay well let's look at the passage in Revelation 13 together it says and of course Revelation 13:15 and he this is the false prophet this is the false prophet. The Antichrist will have an assistant and that assistant will be a herald of the anti the beasts, the Antichrist's uh, government and kingdom, his empire, his 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 uh, municipality, however you want to word that. It says, and he had power. This is. The false prophet, as he's described in Revelation, he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the, the image of the beast should be killed. And he, again, this is this false prophet, causes all, both small and great, rich and poor. When we say small, we're talking about age, so the young and old, rich and poor, those who are free and those who are imprisoned or enslaved to receive a mark in a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And I've heard, again, people say that's a spiritual mark, not a natural mark. And that no man might be, no man might buy or sell except or save he that had the mark or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. It says, here is wisdom. Let him that has understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, uh, and his number is 600, three score and six. And so we, when we talk about it being the number of a man, we're either talking about it being the number of an individual, we're talking about it being the number of man, meaning the number six, because the man, man, man was created by God on the sixth day. But there's definitely some prophetic and spiritual significance to this passage that we have generally, most of us have yet to see uh, explained or manifest as we're going to see it because this language is very mysterious, very, uh, it, it's, it, it's a lot, it, it would take revelation by the spirit for us to understand what John was actually hearing from the Lord. But going further north, upward in the chapter to verse 17, where it says that no man might buy or sell except he that had the, the mark. Uh, when we talk about going to the cash register, we all agree that we don't use spiritual currency to purchase groceries. You can't purchase groceries with spiritual currency. It's not done. I'm not saying that the anointing won't be on you and someone, uh, which of course may allow someone to pay your groceries for you, someone who's behind you in line, or maybe the cashier will just let you walk out. Or maybe all of society who have this spiritual mark of the beast will be able to just walk out without the beast system having any currency from grocery stores. We know that's irrational. That's irrational to think that a spiritual mark will allow people to get groceries. We know groceries are physical. And if we look at the description of this mark, it says he causes all. This is the false prophet who's causing all. I've heard an individual say, that, oh, no, he's not going to force you. He's going to cause you. That's uh, 
poor explanation of the scripture. Saying, oh, because it says he's going to cause. It doesn't say he forces people. Listen, if you, which is, and he caused it as many as would not worship the, the image of the beast should be killed. So we understand that the same guy who's going to cause people to get a mark is going to cause those who don't to be killed. So if you say he's not forcing you to get a mark, he's going to deceive you into getting the mark. Is he then going to deceive people into killing you? We understand that when it says, and he's going to cause, it's saying that he is the one that's going to implement. He's not going to be doing the killing. And he's not going to be doing the implanting of the mark. But he is going to be like a legislator, a congressman. They make laws, and then you've got people that carry it out. So he is going to implement a, 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 a law that's going to cause you to die if you don't worship the image of this beast, this individual. And so as we're, as we're addressing this, we must understand the practicality of of this mark and consider why somebody would say it's not a physical mark. Why would somebody say it's not a physical mark? It's a spiritual mark. Would that person then encourage us to get a physical mark since the mark of the beast is supposedly not a physical mark? If the mark of the beast is not a physical mark, then it should be okay for our government to implant a microchip in us that would help us buy groceries. If you've ever been to a Walmart, you'll know that they have around their register an emblem and it's got a hand and it's got that six point star that you traditionally see at Walmart. I don't see any in this particular picture, but... There's a six-point star that they have. It's like a sunburst or beam, beam six beams from a what would I would suppose would be a, 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 a the sun, but it's right here by the register. Where again, there's like a hand symbol, and I'm not sure what that means. I'm not trying to absolutely say that that's where they're going to be putting their hand scanners, but what I do know is that. Obviously, a retail giant like Walmart, if they are going to function under the beast system, they're going to have to accommodate these laws that are going to come into effect. So the, there are laws that are going to come into effect. And it says that no man is going to be able to buy or sell except he had the mark. Where is this mark? It's in his right hand or it's in his forehead, in his right hand or in his forehead. It's used to buy physical food. It's used to sell physical items to say that it's a spiritual mark that you'd need to have to buy physical food is not biblically rational nor is it biblically consistent if you don't have this spiritual or this physical mark you are going to physically die if you have the physical mark you'll be able to physically buy and physically sell so again we have to ask ourselves when someone says it's not a physical mark would they then be saying it's okay to take a physical mark since it's not physical? Since the mark of the beast isn't going to be physical. When we are demanded of that we take this mark or die, when we're demanded to take this or die, will we say, oh, well, my pastor or preacher or minister friend, my brother in the Lord... He helped me understand that this isn't a physical mark anyway. 
So please be wary of anybody. It doesn't matter how long you've been listening to them. It doesn't matter how tight you are with them emotionally. Please be wary of any person that would change the language of this mark and what the specific scriptures say. It does not say that this is like the mark that the Lord puts in the foreheads of the sons of God. God is a spirit. And so he can put a spiritual mark by angels in the forehead of his sons and daughters. The devil is also a spirit. This beast guy is not a spiritual man. He, he's going to manifest in the natural. This false prophet is going to manifest in the natural. This image is going to be a physical image. Buying and selling is a physical transaction. There is absolutely no biblical justification for saying that the mark in their right hand or in their foreheads is spiritual. I do believe that those who are saying that there's a measure of either deception that they are under or that they are spreading knowingly or unknowingly to say that the, this is not either I'm not saying that the RFID chip is absolutely the mark of the beast. I am saying the mark of the beast is a physical mark that will go in your right hand, even though this is an image of the left hand, unless we're seeing it from underneath. It'll go in your right hand or in your forehead in order for you to buy physical food. To believe otherwise, you've, there's no basis for it. There's no biblical basis for it. And you're endangering the eternal souls of people who will say, oh, well, since it's not physical, when the physical mark does come out, that dictates whether I buy or sell, I'm going to get it because my brother, my elder, my, my friend told me it was okay because the mark is not spiritual or the mark is not physical, it's spiritual. This is David Williams with Jesus Ministries. We'll talk again.